We will never forget and for first responders who survived, it may be truly impossible to forget and many are living with constant physical reminders of that day. I talked with one of the lead scientists here at The Ohio State University who's been studying the impact of the World Trade Center dust on heart disease for first responders and whether there is a link to early onset Alzheimer's and Parkinson diseases. There's no question of the horror of the World Trade Center attack 19 years ago and its ongoing impact. It's an impossible situation to recreate because we don't really know exactly what all, you know, was in the building. Scientist Lauren Wold from the Ohio State University College of Medicine is working in conjunction with New York University to find out what was in the dust here at Ground Zero? They're using samples collected within the first 72 hours of the collapse. So we knew that there were short term effects um, because, you know, we know that in any situation where someone's exposed to a extreme environment, they have some short term effects. But recently we've begun to see longer term. Effects described as accelerated aging of first responders who are now in their mid 50s and experiencing specific heart and lung effects, along with signs and symptoms of early onset Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. It's quite similar to a chronic smoker um, and someone who is much older than the first responders with an average age in their 50s. Um, but similar to someone who, who's per se a chronic smoker with, with end-stage heart failure. Now, there is some encouraging news from this. Dr. Wold told me that all of the first responders involved in that horrific event are seen by a team of doctors through the government's World Trade Center program. There is medical monitoring and treatment of World Trade Center related health conditions. And so he's working along with other scientists to not just figure out what's happening, but to also help in the development of treatments.